Okay, people, today we're going to build this. I call it what you want. It's for growing grapes and kiwis on in our house. Again, the camera person's only seven, so bear with us. Right, first things first, lift your post onto your prepared slab. Prepared slab, you say? Really? I better show you how to do that. Okay, well, first off, cut a piece of scrap wood to the same size as the bottom of your metal plate and mark the holes through it onto it. Next off, drill the holes. Now you have a wooden plate, the same shape, size, and with the holes in the same place as the bottom of that post. Following? Good. Not following? You shouldn't be doing this. Bend some threaded rod into an L shape. I mean, this just gets easier and easier, doesn't it? Next, poke your bent threaded rod through your template. Now, notice there's a little black mark. See that? That lines up at the bottom there with the same angle. All will make sense. Put your nuts on, but not all the way down, because you're going to bang these nuts with a hammer, not the threaded bar. Pour some nice wet concrete into your pre-dug hole. Bring it up to the level that you want the concrete to finish at. Now, here comes that template with the threaded rod look. It's starting to make sense, isn't it? Push this into the hole. Make sure all your bent bits are pointing towards the middle. And you can check this because you've marked one side of the threaded rod. Look, there I am just turning them round to make sure all the little marks are pointing into the middle. And I know that the bent bits are pointing into the middle. Now we're hitting that nut to knock it down, not the threaded rod, because otherwise we'll turn the end over and we won't be able to get the nuts on and off. That's very important because about two weeks after this is set and gone hard we're going to remove the nuts and remove that piece of wood as a template most important check its level both ways because this will be the concrete that that post base sits on talking of which here we go back to the present day it might need a tiny bit of gentle persuasion So you're going to put this on silent then do all the things? Well, that's it. Now you're talking. Hey! It's like humming in the last one. Okay. Thank you. Now, as one laid that concrete based so level, we'll just check it with the spirit level. But it is indeed perfectly level. Put the bubble up there. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna lift. Exactly the same process now for this post. Onto them little threaded rods, do the washers and the nuts back up. Job done. Onto the bubble. Bubble! And now my 10 year old son has to get involved as well because we need more hands. So check in his level going across and then I'll mark where it's level, which will make it easier for the next go. And I'm also going to mark where I want to start a process called cross halving, which is where you cut a chunk of wood out to join two bits together. I'm going to use the piece that I'm going to slot in to measure the thickness and then I know it'll be perfect. Took us a while to design the ends and in the end I just used a big old plant pot just to draw a curve. I'm going to cut that off just to give it a better look. Now I'm going to measure down exactly halfway and mark it for the cross halving cut. Oh. 
and it's much easier if you sand all your markings, your pencil work and the rough edges before you assemble it. I'm screwing the other end in with four inch screws for now, but it will get joist hangers this end. Right, so that's this end, nice, secure and stable. We can work on the other side and basically just do exactly the same thing. Mark the level, mark it on the other side for the cross halving, just run the pencil straight down that piece of uh, timber. Right, cut it, get the whole family, lift it in position, and I screw it up, job done. This will be get threaded rod going through here, the screws are temporary. Put your front piece of wood on, and again, mark that for where you're gonna cut it out. Cut it out, and time to slot it all together. And give it a bang, really. Nice, simple, secure, you don't even have to screw the front bit to the side bits because it's held together by the cross halving. Right, now, the top bit there, we want to trellis this in a diamond pattern. So lay them out, measure them, see what you want, screw them in place. Chuck the other bits up for the other side, lay them out again, see how you want them, how you want them spaced, where you want the ends coming to. Then, when you're ready, screw them down. Give them an adjust around, use a stick. I moved these three or four times till they sat where I thought they looked right. And then I still measured the gaps in between them with a tape measure to get it all right. Went round with a straight edge, penciled the edges, cut them off level. And hey presto, it comes out looking like this. Oh, a bit I didn't show you, I run a 2x4 down the middle there, so there will be no sag with the weight of the grapes and the kiwis hanging through the trellis. There's the kiwi plant. Not expecting any fruit this year, but we want to get it growing, and then the roots can establish, and then next spring it should grow like crazy. It's definitely got a strong framework to grow across right thanks for watching very soon it will be the barbecue build from an oil drum bye for now